Here is a short C++ function that compiles without errors and even runs, but it has a serious bug hiding under the surface. At first glance, this looks reasonable. You create a local vector, access one of its elements, and return it by reference. Then, in test dangling reference, you use that reference to print the value here. Now, think about what's going to happen when we try to run this code. Okay, now that I've given you guys some time to think about this, let's go ahead and see what happens when we try to run this. As you can see, we get some sort of junk value here that is not the 20 that we ultimately expect. But why is that? Well, the numbers vector is a local variable. It's created on the stack inside get element reference. Once the function returns, that vector and its underlying storage is destroyed. So when you return numbers at i, you're giving the caller a reference to memory that no longer exists. The reference you get in test dangling ref here is now dangling. Using its results leads to undefined behavior. You might get the expected value, but more likely than not, you're going to get some sort of garbage value when you try to run this. So how can we fix this? Well, what you really want to do is you want to no longer put this on the stack. And what we'll do, the way we'll do that is using this static keyword. And what this does is it takes it off of the stack and puts it into a more persistent memory, which is the data segment in your C++ program. So let's go ahead and save that and let's run it. And as you can see here, we get the expected value of 20 now that we put this onto the data segments section as opposed to the uh, stack.